Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at a pen which I've had my eye on for quite a while ever since I got into fountain pens actually. However, I didn't find one at an attractive enough price to kind of pick it up. Uh, but today we're going to be looking at the Coveco uh, Pekeo and it's in the Indian Summer colorway. So a little bit of verbiage about this pen, basically it's an ink cartridge fountain pen and it comes from the classic Coveco uh, models. So it's a, it has an octagonal cap and a 16 inch barrel. Um, kind of like the 16 inch barrel design. I mean, it's, you know, it's very easy to build a pen which, which has a cylindrical barrel, but to, to put in these details is always a nice touch. So as this is a beginner fountain pen, it does have an ergo grip, which we'll take a look uh, later on. And it says the may the ink be with you. So this is the packaging which I received. I'm not sure I've seen on the internet where people actually got um, this exact pen, but it was just in a, a plastic sleeve. So just be careful when you get one of these pens, you might want to check what uh, what packaging or what, what accessories are included. In my case, in addition to this uh, packaging, I received uh, three uh, ca um, cartridges right down here. I'm not sure whether there's any, there is a little bit of uh, literature about the, the various ink colors they have. And I've already opened this pen before, so I know what's inside uh, the body. And inside the body of the pen, um, you, you do get an empty short cartridge, uh, which is useful if you want to straight away uh, ink up the pen with, the, with a syringe, with an with a ink of your choice. And surprise, surprise, there is another additional cartridge inside the body. So in total, you get four uh, ink cartridges with this pen, which I think it's extremely generous of uh, Quebeco to do that, or at least in this uh, form of packaging. Um, however, for today, um, I'm going to be inking up this pen for the first time with you guys. I do have quite a few of these international converters. Um, one of them is, you know, is branded with the Franklin Christoph, which I bought some time ago, but pretty much nearly all the the international converters would fit with this pen. So I'm going to, as per usual, kind of give my first impressions of this pen. So I'm just going to assemble it. And just by the feel of the pen, um, my initial impression is the plastics are of decent quality. I do like the feel of this 16-sided uh, barrel. Like I mentioned earlier on, it's not very often that pen manufacturers actually put in the effort to kind of do all of this. I mean, just pulling my Explorer, which I reviewed in the previous video, it's just a normal cylindrical barrel. The fact that Quebeco actually put uh, these design elements is always a, a welcome thing. Uh, on the top part of the, the cap, you get this eight-sided or octagonal cap, which I'm not sure, it, does it prevent it from rolling around too much? Yes, it does, which could be the reason why they designed the cap that way. So looking at the very top of the pen, just bear in mind that you know different colorways might have different details. You get the Quebeco logo. In, the, in this case, it's in black. You get the, the Quebeco branding down here. It says Quebeco Germany. And I assume this pen is made in Germany, which is always good. Um, I'm, you pr might not be able to make out in, on the camera, but there is a little uh, ink, uh, you know, ink, I mean, a mechanism to keep the ink from drying out inside there. You get the barrel, which I've described uh, before. You get the end of the barrel, which 
I'm trying to see it says Germany down here very very faint engraving and there's actually a hole at the end of the barrel which for those of you who like to uh, use pens as an eyedropper you might have to find some way to kind of seal off uh, the end before you attempt to do that plastic threads on plastic threads and down here you in in the threading there's actually a little bit of printing possibly a production code of some sort and what's interesting about this particular pen is that uh, the feed mechanism is actually in two parts right lots of pens actually have uh, feeds that protrude all the way from uh, the top of the pen down here all the way down here I've, I, I've kind of inspected this pen before and even if I pull out the nib, which I'm going to do on this brand new pen, you can still make out that the feet has that housing for you to kind of uh, pluck this uh, end of uh, the, I mean, the, the actual feet into this housing down here, which leads me to want to try something um, for today. And I'll kind of mention what it is. Essentially, this pen, um, has to me it's it's a decent size uh, nib I mean however when it came from the factory it actually uh, came to me and I'm having problems to kind of shove this back in so um, I managed to put the feet uh, or the and the whole nib back in what I want to try is actually to uh, pull out the nib a tiny fraction right just not a lot but just to make the nib portion of the pen stick out a little bit more um, is, I just prefer it that way so I'm going to try inking it up um, like this and see whether or not um, the pen actually sucks in ink properly so looking at the rest of the pen you get um, incidentally there is a, a feeling of a lock uh, at the final twist while while kind of twisting the barrel back to the body which i kind of like it's it's nice it's a very nice positive uh click back and then you have and i've i've gone ahead to kind of put in the nib uh, the wrong way i'm gonna try to put it in so that it from the factory whereby you would get actually these triangular cutouts for you to put your your fingers um and it's it's literally three cutouts one two and three that you would put your fingers in a very uh, in a tripod grip down here right? and it's nice for a beginner um for me personally i might try to move the uh, the nip around so that i don't have to hit the tripod uh, edges it's just just me Alternatively, you can actually hold a pen like this with your finger on top of this edge down here and not utilize the tripods at all, right? Which is another option. Otherwise, the section, I'm just going to measure the section very quickly down here. The section uh, measuring it on the top of the tripod, it's about 10 and a half millimeters. And, um, pretty hard, hard to measure any other way right? but in the middle of the section is about 10 and a half millimeters is my my rough guess and then you have the actual nib like i mentioned earlier on it's extremely short just to show you the pilot uh, um, number four size nib right it, it protrudes a fair bit more compared to this one although the the nib sizes are probably equivalent so as i mentioned earlier on i might try to pull this out a little bit higher right to kind of get the same experience when writing with the pakeo so the nib actually uh, it's a f it's a fine as you can see and um, basically it has the scroll work from uh, it looks like a scroll work from uh, Jovo and I believe it says Germany down here however it's really really small I can't really make it out 
uh, I might put the, the text that's actually written down there on the, on the video itself. And then you have the feed, which is standard plastic feed. So overall um, dimensions, and it's going to be a little bit different because I pulled out the nib a little bit. The dimensions of the pen when uh, unposted, it's roughly, uh, it's just past 13 point uh, just past 13 centimeters which is actually a pretty good uh, length for most people to use um, without actually having to post the pen as you all know I don't really post my pens very much however you can post and when you do so it's still fairly comfortable so I'm going to try to I'm going to use this clear converter down here I'm going to try to ink up this pen right now on camera I'm going to be using Waterman Mysterious Blue and I hope that it actually takes up the ink properly even though I pulled that nib out a little bit see how it goes so it does pull up the, the ink properly can see that the ink actually has gone into the converter and I'm going to take some some tissue to wipe off the excess So let's see how this goes. I am using today uh, my Clairefontaine notebook again. I've laid ink all over the place. I'm going to raise the table for the writing sample. So this is the Kaweco uh, Perkeo Indian Summer and it's in fine. Just double checking that I actually did. Yeah, I did buy it in fine. So it's a pleasant writer, not the smoothest out there, but I actually prefer that rather than a, a pen that's ultra smooth. You can probably feel hear the feedback from that nib, which I've not inserted fully. Right. And in terms of line variation, you the nib is kind of bouncy which is also a good characteristic of uh, fountain pens in general and I like it I mean the feeling um, talking about wetness bear in mind that Clairefontaine paper is very very smooth so I mean this might not be representative of every paper that you use but again it's decently wet and it, it feels uh, or rather it writes very very nicely based on this very quick writing sample so initial impressions it's a very very pleasant pen uh, i like this colorway in particular i'm not too sure why they call it indian summer but i i really like this maize or this uh corn like uh, color typically i don't really buy pens for their color but uh i really in this case I, I do like this color combination incidentally i didn't mention it is a blacked out nib which is always a cool thing to have so um, first impressions a very very nice pen 
Um, I will continue using it and writing with it uh, to give a more detailed review in a, in a future video. Um, meanwhile, um, hope you liked the video today. Uh, let me know whether or not you have one of these. One of the things which I will be doing is kind of evaluating this pen against the more uh, way more popular Quebeco, which is actually the uh, the sport or the classic sport. So, and I'll give kind of my my feeling either way of what I think about this pen versus the, that other pen. So uh, again, appreciate you watching today, uh, and I will see you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.